right, so just got something in the mail. Yeah, today's video is gonna be a little bit different, but first I gotta do something. ran three miles see I've been trying to run like two to three miles a day you know it's crazy ever since February I'm running two to three miles a day and I'm exhausted yeah time to time to shower because this is crazy Woo! you gotta exercise just in case there's the doubters yep three miles I did it under nine minutes per mile I'll do a run. I'm tired. Man, I'm feeling so good after that run. And that's kind of the focus of this video is certain things that you can do to help find balance as a musician or as a percussionist. And that's number one is your health. It's actually doing things to take care of your body. Something about me, especially before this whole pandemic, is that I was always active. I was out and about, I was always on the move, and that kind of helped me keep myself on my toes and you know my mind ready for anything. But when everything kind of shut down in March of 2020, you know, I, maybe I was okay the first three months. I would try to run or take some walks and kind of get out the house, but I wasn't consistent with it. And literally like right after June, maybe around May, I was feeling sluggish. And you know, I'll try to get back on my toes and maybe take some walks, but man, starting 2021, I probably gained the most weight I've ever gained. I felt so sluggish and slow. My mind was, uh, you know, all over the place. So in the beginning of February, I actually decided to just start running every day. And I made it a goal to run around two to three miles per day. Seriously, like per day. Sometimes I'll do four miles if I have the energy, but I've been literally trying to make sure that my body is being taken care of, that my mind is being taken care of. Because yeah, you could, you know, have chops, you can have all this, you know, doom bows and all this craziness, Ben, but if you're if you're not healthy, you, if you can't even survive a concert because you're not breathing well or you're not in shape, man, that's like horrible, horrible for a musician. Seriously, it's so crazy when I talk to people, especially like before, after a, a concert or after an event, the next day I would do something very active, go for a walk, go for a hike, do something that will help me just keep that momentum going. So for the next show, I'm not tired or I'm not worn out, but I feel good. So I got something here from a day one, man. A huge supporter of the channel from like the early days. This is Ernie Valenzuela. He sent me something, man. Um, I'm gonna put his YouTube channel, all his info if you're trying to get this as well. So just support him, man, and, and what he's trying to do. Let's see what I got here. Ooh. Ooh. First, let me do the shirts. This is crazy. Oh man, oh man, this is so dope. Look at that. I'd hit that in some timbales, man. This is some crazy stuff, photo, photo. Look at that, I'd hit that in some bongos. I'd hit that and it's some congas. Oh man. And of course, another classic, got clave. Man, this is so crazy, man. Thank you, Ernie. Seriously, all love. And he also makes um, some synthetic beaters so this is a synthetic beater that he makes for the cowbell it's crazy it has his logo on it it's pretty dope man um i think uh just in general it's very lightweight um i think it's feels really good on the hands probably test it out in a future video and then this is a synthetic wheel scraper so man feels really really light man just really good man i love it love it this is so awesome 
And this is pretty cool. He's actually also making masks. Um, you know, craziness. You always gotta stay safe, man. And this is pretty, pretty dope. You know, probably gonna give one to my wife. This one's really crazy. It's uh, some musical notes with the black on black. So this is pretty dope. Same kind of design, but in blue. And, um, you know, I think it's just pretty, pretty awesome. And then I think this is for kids. So I'm gonna give this to my son so he could uh, rock it and be safe out in the, the streets. But man, seriously, thank you, Ernie. Again, I'll put all the information down below where you can purchase this and support small businesses, man. This is what, what it's all about, especially in these times, man. You gotta support these businesses, man. We gotta make sure that these businesses stay alive during all this and that when it's done and we can go back to normal that all these businesses can just continue to thrive and you know be a big part of the community so what i'm actually going to do today is literally edit two videos i'm going to edit tutorial thursday's video and i'm also editing for my wife she actually started a channel it's mainly in spanish great topics great points and you know i think it's uh, awesome you know to be a part of her little team and edit for her and so i gotta do that and then uh, we'll see what later on holds or if not what tomorrow holds <music> Today I'm actually going to get a haircut. I haven't gotten a haircut in six months. It's crazy, man. This is the longest I've ever had my hair. But I'm going to visit an old friend. It's about to be fun, man. This is crazy. I've known him for well over 13 years. Yeah. I'll 13 say years. Yeah. <laughs> About 13 years. The way we met was actually pretty funny. So I used to cut my hair with somebody else, a mutual friend. And he was actually trying to learn Bonga. Yeah. <laughs> and my, yeah let, let me let, let me let me uh, tell the story. What happened it was that <laughs> I was trying to learn how to play congas because at my church, they want me to play the congas, right? And they know that I'm Dominican, people think it's like like Koreans or Japanese, that everybody knows how to fight, uh, how to do karate stuff. <laughs> so they thought Dominican know how to play, right? So I got the rhythm in me, but they didn't know how to play. So I wanted to play for real. I wanted to actually learn how to play correctly. And there's this guy uh, at the barbershop that knows Eric, right? And he told me, hey, I have a Salvadorian friend that can teach you how to play conga. And I was like, there's no way the Salvadorian is going to teach a Dominican how to play conga. And he told me, yo, you got to keep your mouth closed. He, this guy knows what he's doing. And I'm like, okay, let me, let me meet him. So he presented to me. I have seen him before, but I didn't know he played. And, you know, I thought... He told me, you're going to help me with And he told me, uh, you told me, like, let's meet up at your house, right? Yeah. You give me the address and stuff. I was a really skeptic. I was like, nah, this is small. Dude, Salvadorian. 
you gonna teach me how to play congas? But I didn't know. I'm like, how come like I'm cocky here and I don't even know how to play? Anyway, I went to his house and the first thing that I asked him, can you play a tumbao? No, what one go? No, a what one go? What's a what one go? Can you play a what one go? Yeah. And I remember since this that day, since that day, I remember when he did that. I was like, hold on, hold on, stop everything there. We're gonna start right now. How to teach you? And now we end up being, I end up being in love with the percussion. We practice for about how many, how many years on and on? Man, like at least four. Yeah, four about four, six four, years. Yeah, four to six years, years on and off. I, I got married. He, he can play, man. He can yeah. definitely play. No, no, no. Really I, I, I'm rusty right no. now. Hey, but he can play. <laughs> he can definitely play. If you got the master. <laughs> <laughs> got to go pick up my son, man. But that's my brother Angel, bro. I've, I've known him for so long, and he's actually really, really good. But that story always makes me laugh because he legit, before even class started, was like, hey, teach me Wawanko or play Wawanko. And I did it. The kati, kati. He's like, wow, wow, wow. Hilarious story. Um, can you help me? No, you gotta take it. <laughs> Mateo, are you Cheese. gonna? No, no. Are you gonna miss us? Are you gonna miss mommy and papi? Yeah. Are you Cheese. sure? Are you sure? Yeah. We're not yeah. gonna see you for two days. It closed. Uh huh. Hey. I didn't... Hey. So. Cheese. Are you gonna have fun times with Mama? Yo. You. Yo. You sure? Yo. I sure. Bye, Papi. Bye. Love you. I love you. Yeah, we just dropped off our son. Me and my wife are actually gonna go on a nice little weekend getaway. Yes, it's about to be nice, but it's gonna be weird not seeing my son for two days. But you gotta love it. some time and are at the Shenandoah in Virginia it's beautiful man beautiful just to get away and I think that's super super necessary to just take some time for yourself relax escape from it all you know if it if you know you could remain safe if you can remain you know in you know good states away from everything else and and but I think that's super necessary for a musician just to get away from things, just to escape, just to relax, man. Because I think sometimes we get caught up with everything and we don't take the time to take care of ourselves, man. To, to really just get away from the stresses of life and just relax, man. And, and spend some time with some family because, man, I've seen too many musicians just like end up growing old being by themselves and... You know, so I think it's very, very important to take some time, spend some time with some family and just relax and enjoy life.
tell you guys, needed that little getaway, needed some time away, needed some time apart, literally disconnected from everything. No internet, no socials, no phone. Ah, it was beautiful, man. And that's the next thing. You need to, at times, disconnect from everything around you. Disconnect from social media, disconnect from people. It's okay to just take some time to kind of refresh your mind, refresh the mentals, refresh everything that you need to be able to remain focused on the things that you do. <sighs> and it's because oftentimes we don't really pay attention to the things that we need to kind of remain focused, remain kind of in the now, remain, you know, good, good, just good. It's really good to disconnect, I'm telling you. I try to do it at least once or twice a year where I just get away and don't even like look at my phone, don't do anything with my computer. I literally haven't edited a video that I need to edit tomorrow. It's crazy, man, but you know, it's, it's just refreshing. It's refreshing to do things like that. It's refreshing to just, uh, so needed. But it's a, it's a balance, guys. You guys need to understand that at times, when you're so focused on trying to achieve something, you end up distracting yourself and not realizing what you're doing to yourself isn't really helping you achieve that. You know, you're just stressing yourself out and uh, the craziness. But yeah, I really do hope this video helped you guys. You know, I just wanted to take you guys on, you know, little adventures and what I was going to do, but I didn't get to film as much because again, I was disconnected from everything, and I enjoyed it. But all right, y'all. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Peace.